Hi everyone, it's Shilpa here with another quick video. Um, this is an altered dress form. It's um, one from a previous video that you've seen. And um, I did say I was going to alter it. And this is it. It's one that I bought off eBay. And this, again, is for another friend of mine. So I want to get it sent out to her as soon as. So that's why I'm doing this quick video. Um, I hope she um, can show you properly how it looks. I've just tried figuring out um, how to actually film this but I just can't get the right angle and the lighting is really really bad. So hopefully when she receives it she'll do a, um, a video showing you the whole dress form properly. But I just want to give you a quick overview of what I've done. Um, the dress form itself as I said it's about um, 12 inches high and I've used most of the stuff that I've used on it is actually vintage doilies and laces and I just wanted to keep it really neutral as you can see. So um, I'll try and give you a closer look. I've just used a ton of vintage doilies and um, some pearls and some flowers. So basically what I did um, first of all was um, I kind of went round the bottom making it really free with this um, really stiff kind of a tool and it's from a wedding dress that I purchased so I've pleated it all round and I've kind of glued it and stitched it in places too and then I've gone round um, with a pleated layer of this really really fine cotton and I've frayed it and it's gone um, all the way around and it's in this really nice beige colour and then I've used a few really beautiful vintage doilies that I've had in my stash for a while and I just thought it was perfect. So this piece here, this is a really, really vintage piece of um, a whole circle doily this is. And I've just slit it down the middle and I've kind of um, made a skirt out of the whole thing and it's gone all the way around. And then I've used this beige one here. So um, the first one was white and then this one's beige. And then I'll show you the back. There's another white one here. And I've used some vintage lace here and I've used I think a couple of pieces that um, Gisela sent me who's lavish laces here on YouTube so thanks Gisela and um, that's basically it so it's just layering loads and loads of doilies and laces and for that actual mannequin itself um, I used a Versamark ink pad and I've inked the whole of the actual body it had this fabric um, fabric kind of uh, dress on it and I ripped it all apart and I've inked it in this first mark ink pad and I've used this um, shabby embossing powder that Trisha sent me who's a little shabby chic so thanks Trisha for that um, embossing powder and I think it's Stampendous embossing powder and it's a shabby chic one and it's got the beautiful um, glittery speckles in it and it's like a very shabby pink colour as well um, on the actual waist here give you a closer look um, I've used some thin cream rosette trim from Wild Orchid Crafts this um, blingy chain some pearl and also some more vintage lace and on each of the sides I've just put these beautiful shabby Wild Orchid Craft roses really really pretty and this piece here is actually um, like a wedding applique trim that Amanda sent me who is I'm Andy here on YouTube so thanks Amanda for this and I've just used a section here and I tied it around the back and there's um and I've done the same on the back there so you can just see it sticking out it's very Marie Antoinette look there and um I've also taken some beautiful iridescent pearl string and I've just randomly stuck it in other um, in some places like here on the side here and some under the skirt here and there's another piece there and on the back itself I've tied I think three bows with these um, laces and I've made these just dangle off and it looks really really pretty and I just love the way it's come out so I hope my friend likes it as much as I do and I hope she's going to treasure it forever and as it, that's the back there I didn't have to do much here I just thought it looked beautiful the way it was and I've just made a little necklace out of this um, bling here just with a bit of string and I think that looks really great there and it's very very blingy this piece and I don't think it needed anything else so that is it I'm just thinking if I missed anything out oh and I've also made a little bow here using um, some rosette trim there and also done the same on this side as well so that is my beautiful um, 
altered dress form and the base I didn't have to do anything to it because it was already distressed it's in white and it's got these um, gold ink over it as well so it looks really beautiful the way it is so I didn't do anything else to that and that is my beautiful altered dress form using all vintage um, doilies and laces and it's just so so beautiful so I hope my friend likes it and hope you guys like it too um, please leave me a comment to let me know what you think and I um, hope to see you soon with another video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.